Right, I've drawn a lion across there. Nice lion. Um, no, that's how I don't know what I'm going to draw. I'm going to wet my sky down there. Like a hole that I've dug to there, I think. Whack in. It's a cerulean blue. Ah, that's alright. About like that. So, then, some more blue. And mix, uh, try and get a nice bluey green. Something like that, let's see what that looks like. Nice bluey green in there. Just like that. That'll go. Just into there, up to that wall. I want to leave that wall white because I'm going to have some white highlights on it. So that's why. Else I'd just paint right through, probably. Mantle dots, that's that. Nah. Um, um, watch my brush hat. Um, I could do with some. Well, I'll tell you what I will do actually. Put some, get some more green on my brush. There's some uh, like dark sort of thingy tree. What are them trees called? I was going to say palm trees. They're not palm trees. Are they? Pine trees. That's it. Some quite dark pine trees. Right on top of there. About like that. So I'll mix them in, and then there's just a couple more about there. Just about like that, that's it. Tired of that yellow. And I think they're slightly actually behind the hill, so if I go through that, it'll pop, pop them back behind that hill. That's it, there, that'll do. Now, I need now, well, I'll just go through that. I need now some, uh, bluey grey mix so let's mix some of that up it's a bit of blue and a bit of grey this is for in here there's some walls so all I'm going to do is mix me blue up and a bit of Payne's grey in it and just pop that in these walls in I might end up popping a bit of highlights on them with some uh, bit of designer's white small back here a bit right across that edge bit there and we a bit of that sort of goes across a bit across there yeah um might pop a bit of goo ash in and, uh, just put a couple of highlights on. Right, I'm just looking at them trees up there and I can't see them. So, get some more dark green. I just pop some of them back in. There's some in here, look. I can't see them. Pop some of them back in like that, look. I can't see them in here. I'll put them in with some dark greens, that's it. And I'll just get some water, soften them in. Hopefully this will work. There we are, just sticking them tips on like that. Look. Soften them in. That's it, that's just them pine trees back there. Um, if you feel they're a bit strong, uh, these ones I think are. Do that. Give them a little dab. Soften them down a bit. They don't look bad. Right, I'll do me for that. So that's that done. Super water. Mm. Lovely. Right, um, right, that's my grey wall. Oh. Tell you what I forgot to do. There's a big bush here with really bright highlight on it, and I forgot to put it in. Um, Put it in there. Uh, it would have been better putting it in fast, that's all. Um, it'll be really 
it in there. So if I get some bright yellow, it will probably still win. I'd have done it first, then it bright would be brighter. So I ain't got to go on top of that other, but I think it could probably overpower it anyway. If not, I might stick a bit of gouache on that to put a bit of sparkle on it. But if I go in there like that, that's what I wanted, that colour. See that colour there? If I'd put this in fast like I'd planned, then I could have had that bright colour there, look. It's a bit late now. What I might do, I might add a bit of gouache on top of that in a bit. Um, tell you what, let's put my dark colour in as well now. So that's my light green. This is my dark green. Right in at the base here. Gradually bringing it out like that, look. Very nice. Like that. And then, we'll get some font umber. And there. Uh, Cowboy bit of ultramarine blue. Font umber, tiny bit of Payne's grey. A really dark colour. But I've got more paints grey and Montumber at that. Not to worry, I'm not putting much in. Got a little really dark bit in there. See them really light sparkles there? Because I've not done it there, I've lost it, look. I should have put that in fast and then gone up to that. But I'll show you a trick to get round that in a bit. Right, now then, I've got my wall there. Let's, put, let's get my wall in. So my wall is going to be this same greyish coat. In fact, you know what? We squeeze that out. I'm going to use my little brush to do it. Or, yeah, use my little brush. I think what I'll do, pour it in. I think my best bet. Payne's grey and blue. Pour it in, I could do it. Quite a thick paint right, where's that scraper? I'll pour it in and scrape it straight out. Now I'll leave a few highlights and all as I'm pouring it in. So that's that to there. Then it sort of blends off about there, I think. Right. I'll just get this and loads of bricks and highlights and stuff. Well, there. Um, get a bit of black. Stick a couple of low lights in, I think. A few black bits out of there. A bit more of that blue. There we are few low lights in and I think what I'll do is probably just in a sec, well I'll set a few low lights in that bottom bit there. I think what I'll do in a minute is dab it with a brush to calm it down, er, uh, brush with towel to calm it down a bit. Especially on some of these top ones look, just to tone it back a little bit, that's it, that's better tone it back a bit. If they're still not enough, wet them, soften them, tone them back a bit more. Got a few black smudges in there, but I'm not bothered about that. That's the dummy. Right, uh, now then. Um, I think what I'll do now is a big green wash of the lot. I'll start with really yellow. Real bright yellow. Up there. Straight over all that, like, into there, look, straight into there. Down to there, I'm going to go around that bit. Straight into there. Up to that bit there, that's better. There we are. Over there. I'm going down, it's going at that angle, so I'm taking my brush strokes down at that angle. Take that off. Right through to there, look, that's it. There, that's that. Now, nah. I think what I'll do now, let this brush mix up some darker greens to go in there. Uh, I'm not going mega dark, I think. 
I think I'll do three greens in this. A medium. A light. What I've already got my light. A medium. And then a dark. So if I come in here now and a little bit of this into there. medium into there. That can go up there. Right. Now what I'm gonna do. Damp brush. Just dampened it but not particularly washed that yellow out. So there's probably still a bit of yellow in. And I'm just gonna soften that and soften in some of these bits, so some softening in, softening out, whatever that means. Well, some at the soft at the bottom, some soft at the top like that look. Just blending it all in. Well, more water. stuff coming on down here a lot of grasses and stuff in here so, and they're quite soft because my paper's wet but I don't mind that dee -dee 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 -dee. getting longer as I come down here I'll just wet my brush more on some of this that's it there. nice very nice. That's that. Um, Get a dab because I can't bother waiting for that. Then puddles to dry. Let's see, that looks quite nice for that dabby effect. Actually, there we are. So that's that. Um, hmm, see now, just here. Where's that brush? Just right in this bottom bit here. There's some dark shadows. Like that colour dark. So I'm gonna stick some of that in. So that's bomb tumber, paint's grey, and I haven't washed that green off my brush, so it's going to have a bit of a green hint in it. Yeah, I'll have a bit of that in the bottom of there, and then in some of these grasses here, and I'll just right under there. That sound, that'll do me a lovely jubbly. Right, that's that. Um, right, now then. Um, let's do this while this is wet, I think. So I want a really dark colour. And about, let's have it about here. There's a shadow. It's got some more blue in it. That's better. There's a shadow just under this tree here. About like that. And then this tree. It's got a lovely nice shadow in it. That's it. I'll leave that dark colour on and just switch to another brush. I'll go to that one another fan brush and just put a light colour on there and then mix the two in. So here we are. Just got another fan brush with some really bright green on of these highlights. And I'll just mix the two colours in, soften them into each other like that look. There we are. Nice, I like that. That's nice. Right, um, now, get a little brush, Bain's grey, bit of bon tumber, and sort of comes somewhat, that's not dark enough, but it's somewhat about like that, that's better, that's dark enough, and that comes right out over there. Under there, I think. Shorter. That's nice, isn't it? I'll do. Just add a couple of low lights into this, and it's probably the same in here. Just a couple. While this is wet, it should go in nicely. 
Kupuma. Ri ti ti. There, that's nice, isn't it? Um. For that, I think some of this really dark colour. I think I want round bottoms of some of it. Bottoms are there, like that. So I think I'll have a bit of a dark bush about there, and all just a bit of a bush, something like that, and then probably something about there, just a couple. Just little bushy things, and then at the tip of them, I'll put some lighter colours in. There. Now, are you? That comes up there now, like that. Wait a bit of a bush there. That's that with light colour, and then dark colour underneath, like that. That. Um, we got on here. Let's see if we can soften a bit of this in. Some dark colours in there, but I think we'll soften it a bit. Soften the bottom of that, I think. Oh, that's nice. Oh, wow. Yeah, I'm happy with that. There. Um, right, I think there's a few more darks in here, and it's going to play me advantage to have a few darks in there because. I'm going to plop a few sheeps in there. So I think what I'll do, start with some just thicker paint, overall thicker paint. So this is quite, actually quite a light colour. So I'll come in with some of them, and that's sort of coming up. I'll have them around, somewhere around here. So I'll have some of this thicker paint in here, look. See them little highlights there? I'm not going to go through them. So they take some grabbing they do so oh, a bit there a bit there that's it look see these bits here and they'll benefit from some low lights and stuff under there that looks nice more low lights in there let's see some more low lights in here Just messing about till I get it where I think, yeah, that looks right. That's it. Something about like that. And then I think I'll use my tissue again and all, and just anywhere where I think let's soften it out, I'll just blend out with tissue. What's that? Oh, I'll tell you what I did mean to do. Uh, I'll do it now. This here, this, this is the effect I wanted there. I wanted that all the way up, but I painted through there by mistake, so I'll show you how to grab that back. All I'm going to do. I'm going to get a little bit of designer's white gouache, gouache, however you pronounce it, and my spiky brush and come in there like that, look. Put a few little highlights back. So now that bit there looks the same. It doesn't look the same now, but in a minute I'm going to do the same with some yellow. I'll let that dry, then I'll come back in with some yellow. And that'll blend that. Oh, I'll tell you what there is as well. There's a nice bit, nice little plant up there, what I've not put in. So I'll put that in there. So it makes a sort of pale green colour. What, what I've done, I've dabbed straight into some blue, tiny bit of yellow, and left that white gouache on my brush. So I've ended up with this really pale green colour. It looks dead nice. That's right up there, like that. That's gorgeous, that's perfect. There. Now, let me 
just get tell you what I'm going to do a bit with this small brush to get this line in that's literally just to get that line there that's it and then I'll use my big spiky brush to get the oh, let's make that a lot bluer to get them low lights in there for them that's nice I think even though it's going to dry lighter I think I'm going to give it a dab with this anyway soften them edges a bit that's too strong or not I'll have a look at the end I might, need, I might pale it back a bit right so that's that um, right let's get some sheeps in now then in here so I'm gonna go into some more white gouache and some yellow what's already got a bit of green colours in it uh, something about like that and just pop in that's it that nice bright yellow colour. I'll pop some in down here and also it matches in with that hopefully. There. That's it. Just where I lost that bit there and that's that done now. Right. Um, oh yeah. Sheep. I was doing sheep on it. Right. Let's concentrate now. Get these sheep banged in then we're done. Right. Some nice white gouache. Plenty on my brush. Right, where shall I have a sheep? That's that one. Light's coming in this way. Well, I want here. Mm, how big's it going to be? Let's say that's just a little tree, that is. I'd say that's probably big enough there. I'll leave that at that. So I'm going to put some low lights in to the side. Um, let's have another one here. that one here about there I think and one turn another one bit like that something like that right so now that's them let's get a Let's mix a sort of purplish colour up. Yeah, a bit of a purplish colour now. That's a bit of that in. <laughs> Something about like that. There, bit in. Oh, that's a bit in there where that one's coming down. Bit in here. That one in front. Yeah, something like that. That's it. And then 
tell them that let's go for some darker colours. Purple and a bit Bain's grey. I'm thinking. So that really, really dark purple now. Trouble is, got to mix in with that. And, uh, you know what? It's not. It's, it's just sticking on it. So I'm gonna. Soaking in too much that one, so I've dried it now. Let's dry that. Hopefully now it'll work. So some purple in there, some in there, some in there like that. That's it. And then mix that with some green. So that's that purple colour and some green. Just bring that out there. And I think I'll swap to this brush. in there well that's it that's looking nice there's quite a few dark bits in this foreground you see there we are that's nice and then oh i wash my brush and i will soften some of it some of this back and soften some of this back in a bit like that not softening easy mixing in with that white so now soften it in soften that in Oh. This bit here looks a bit a harsh line, so soften that in. Same with that one. Bum, bum, that one's not bad. Bum, 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 bum. There, something like that. And then a slightly smaller brush. Eh. Let's have that one's head. There, like that. That one. There, like that, that one there, like that, and that one there, like that. I think what I'm going to do, tiny little brush, tiny, tiny little brush, and just pop some ears on them. I'm not popping a few ears on. Yeah, that one can add two. Oh well. There we are. That's it. Boy. 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 Right. And then, all we need to do now, pop in Peter. And Paul. Right. And that's it. Peter has gone and got his missus up the duff, so he's out now, he's got to look for extra worms now, because um, his missus, she's eating for, not two, because bods are loads, don't they, it? she's going to be laying some little eggs and stuff, you can do this look, put some little things in there like that, but yeah, she's going to be laying some little eggs and things and he's going to have to bring back extra worms to feed the eggs when they hatch out into chicks he's going to get married and uh, uh, Paul's going to be the best man um, Paul's already got kids they've grown up and flown the nest um, but yeah 
Peter's getting married, isn't he? So, congratulations, Peter. Congratulations if you managed to paint this. Congratulations if you remember to paint that bit in Fost so it looks like that rather than like that. And I'll see you on the beach in it. Boom, Jagrat!